G'day Jack to Nerdy Fans, Jeremy here with another unboxing video. Before we start that video, make sure you hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, and let us know your thoughts on the video in the comments box below. But without further ado, let's get straight into it. Today we are unboxing the 1-6 scale Hot Toys for Yondu. This is from the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 movie. Um, so it's based off of, again, the actors and uh, their portraits and their sculpts and everything. So really, really excited for this one. Been looking forward to this one for a while. Big fan of the movie, but also I love this character. So let's get into it. Yondu, uh, straight away, very, very retro uh, artwork and styling on the box there. Um, which very much coincides with the movie itself um, and the style of the movie there. And let's get her open. And what they've done is they've put on the inside there um, all the different sculptors and the creative team behind the figure, which is great to see them all getting their uh, credits for this figure. Okay. And there we go. Let's get him out of there. Straight away, we've got some accessories on the top here. We've got the, I don't know, uh, the cage for Groot, the, the bird cage there, uh, some sort of rifle or weapon, and the um, chest plate that they uh, use in the movie for this part of their jet packs or whatever you want to call it. Take that one out there and put that to the side. And here we go. All nice and safe and protected in there. Okay, let's see if I can get you out there for you. Give you a better view. There we go. Straight away, awesome head sculpt there. Lots of beautiful detail and just the the quality of the detail of his clothing here. Uh, we've got the jacket, the beautiful long coat, all leather and very well stitched together there. Uh, obviously, we've got the inside. We've got his jacket. We've got his uh, holsters and what have you. So that's all really, really good there. Let's see if we can get these off here so we can see his detail on his boots and there we go normally I would cut these off okay I'm just gonna see my tool there and cut that bit of plastic off there we go Alrighty, so again we've got his leather boots under there. Again, really, really good detail on all the stitching and all the little bits and pieces. Yeah. I absolutely love that head sculpt, that attention. Um, I don't know if you can see it on there, but all the different little scars and the veins and everything on the head there. And, oh wow, oh, just turn him around there. Again, all the different, like the this uh, diamond pattern on the top of his jacket, the stitching, everything on the back there. This little shoulder strap there. That is fantastic. Just another classic example of why I enjoy collecting these figures. Uh, just the, uh, the level of commitment that they make with these. Um, if you can just imagine how much time it would have taken the artist to paint these, because they only make a run of about between three and 5,000 of these globally. Um, and they're all painted by hand, painted and sculpted by hand. Um, so you can just imagine as a business the amount of time it would take to manufacture each individual figure. 
Um, I mean, that's why they sell for a premium. Um, but I wouldn't have it any other way. That's why I love collecting these figures. They're not mass produced. Um, you know, they're all limited runs. Um, so that is just incredible. And as always, it wouldn't be on do without his little arrow there. And we've got different variations of it in here. As you can see, you've got the arrow with the little whisk, I suppose you want to call it. The uh, movement piece. So if you wanted to set him up with a bit of a, a pose, you can kind of have that all attached there for different kind of little bits and pieces like I said you know set them up in a diorama or an action pose if you wanted to that's all pretty cool and in there for you also they've uh, given you the shark fin so to speak so you can swap that out and give him his shark fin kind of headpiece if you wanted to or you can just keep it with the little little one there but you can swap those out which is a nice little feature as well um, obviously we've got the different hand grips as well so you can have him holding the arrow or you know making gestures and things like that and as a little bonus they've given you a little baby group there so you could put him in the little bird cage that comes along with the figure and have him <laughs> or you could just put him there on the little base there. He's got a little mean, little mean angry face on him. Uh, <laughs> if you can see that, it's kind of a little cute little one there. So that's a nice little, little extra little bit that they've thrown in there, which I think is great. Um, you know, they didn't have to throw that in there. Um, you know, uh, oh, they've even given him a little base to stand on there. Um, but you know, so as a company, they didn't have to go that extra mile to give you that little thing, but they have, which I think is great. Um, you know, so that, and you know, look, so uh, like some of the uh, figures that we've had over the last month, um, not a huge amount of accessories coming with this one. Um, but again, I kind of like that. Um, sometimes you can get figures and they just have tons and tons and tons and tons of accessories come along with them. And you never end up using any of them. Um, so to have a figure come with just the bare essentials, um, I think is a bit more refreshing. Um, it's good, you know, because then you can just set them up in your display with what you need, nothing that you don't need, um, and you don't have tons of stuff going to waste. Um, the other thing is quite often, the more accessories that they come with, the more expensive the figure is. These already sell for a premium at about $350 Australian, just as a starting point. Um, so you're already paying a premium for the figure. You don't want to be paying an extra $100 or even $200 for a ton of extra accessories that you don't even want or you're never going to use or anything like that. So less is more, in my opinion. Um, but, you know, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below below um would you like to see more accessories come with these figures or do you agree with me that less is more let me know your thoughts on that i'd like to know what um what everyone thinks um but also we've got the little base plate there that this one comes with you know his name plate obviously yondu on there a nice little graphic design on the top there so it's not just plain black so you set them up in your display with this uh, you can just stand on there, nice and simple. And voila, you know, he'll have a nice little position in the uh, collection there, um, along with some of my other figures. I don't have any of the other Guardians ones at the moment. Um, they have been on the list of ones that I would like to get eventually. Uh, it's just a matter of when they come out with them and what variations they have. Um, so you never know, we may have some other Guardians of the Galaxy figures come up later on down the line. We'll just wait and see. Um, but this one, as soon as uh, they announced that this one was being released, I had to make sure that I got it because uh, I'm just such a big fan of the character in the movie. 
Um, so this was my first Guardians of the Galaxy one. Probably not my last, but it definitely had to be the first because of uh, just the way he was uh, portrayed in the movie. Anyway, let me know your thoughts um, uh, on this figure in the comments below. Also, hit us up if there's any other figures that you would like to see us do. We have heaps more content coming out over the next month or two, so make sure you check that out. Um, also, while you're at it, as I said before, make sure you hit that subscribe button. That way you never miss out on a video. Give us a thumbs up and let us know your thoughts below. Until next time, guys, stay jacked and stay nerdy.